The 2022 NASCAR playoffs are officially among us. And we had a few we have a few heavy hitters missing it. Eric Amola. Look, he's out. How he didn't make it, which, which kinda sucks. Bubba Waller. Liss and Martin Shrex Jr., the 2017 champion, and the guy who was finished second like four freaking times in the last like 600 year attempts. He's also not part of this, which is honestly insane. We got Austin Dillon to thank for that. And since it's the beginning of the playoffs, you know what we gotta do. We gotta go over my a 2022 NASCAR Cup Series playoff predictions. I don't know why I had to add the Cup Series because I am not gonna do this for any other series. So anyway, we have this is the round of 16. You should hopefully have read it by now, but if you haven't or you're blind, I'm gonna read it right here for you. Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, Ross Chastain, Kyle Larson, William Byron, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Tyler Reddick, Kevin Harvick, Chris Bell, Kyle Busch, Chase Briscoe, Daniel Suarez, Austin Sindrick, Alex Bowman, and Austin Dillon. Man. Chase Elliott has the most playoff points because he has the most wins. Austin Dillon has the least amount of playoff points because he wouldn't have even made these playoffs had he not won Daytona yesterday. Hey. So, yeah, these are the playoffs. And these are actually in order of the playoff points. So, yeah, now let's just go ahead and go right into the round of 12. My predictions are... For round 12, I have Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, Ross Chastain, Kyle Lawson, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Tyler Reddick, Kevin Harvick, Christopher Bell, Kyle Busch, Daniel Suarez, and Alex Bowman. So those are the 12 that I think will make it to the round of 12. And the ones I have eliminated are... William Byron, Chase Briscoe, Austin Sindrick, and Austin Dillon. Now, Austin Dillon, again, it's obvious. He has the least amount of playoff points. He only made the playoffs because of his win yesterday. And outside of 2020 and 2016, he has never made it past the round of 16. And I don't think this year is going to be any different. So, but who knows? Maybe he'll pull off a 2020 run really good in the round of 16. Somehow, it might somehow make turn 12 and who knows, whatever. Yeah, that's the Adam Adams round of 12. Austin Sindrick, kind of similar. He's only really in because of his Daytona 500 win. I'll tell you that, he's been kind of underwhelming this year. But he's been okay, I guess. Then Chase Briscoe, he started off the year really good. But he has completely faltered. He has not had a top 10 since... Hang on, I'm trying. Hang on. Since the Coke 600. I forgot the name of the race for a second. Yeah, since the Coke 600, he has not had a single top 10. And I actually figured this out. He has less top 5s, less top 10s, and a worse average finish than Austin Dillon. So... Yikes. And it's big because, in fact, Austin Dillon has double the DNFs. And then William Byron, he's probably the, I want to straight up say, he's probably the worst driver out of, of all these 16 guys. Even worse than Austin Dillon. Yeah, sure, he was the first guy to get two wins. But he has not done anything outside of that. His last top 10 was Sonoma. Uh, he's been total garbage for most of this summer. Like, he has only, like, five top tens on the year. Matter of fact, I feel like if he didn't have those wins, he chances are he doesn't even make the playoffs. That's how terrible he's been. So, yeah, I had to eliminate him. And, but, yeah, those are the... 12 guys have making it. Those are the four I have being eliminated. And now let's move on to the round of eight. Making the round of eight, I have Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, Ross Chastain, Kyle Lawson, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, and Ryan Blaney. So the four guys have being eliminated are Daniel Suarez, Tyler Reddick, Christopher Bell, and Alex Bowman. 
Now, Bowman, I'm kind of being generous even putting him in the round of 12. He has honestly been kind of garbage this year. Yeah, she's been a little better in the last few weeks, but he had such a terrible summer. I think there's a point where he had like three straight DNFs That's in a row. So yeah, he's not been good this year. And yikes, Jesus Christ, he's been... He's been awful. The only reason why he's even in the playoffs, honestly, is because of his win at Las Vegas all of the year. Yeah, Christopher Bell. I was actually considering putting Bell in the round of eight. Eight over Blaney. But I ultimately chose for Blaney because he's been a little more consistent this year. And he also has a few more playoff points. So, Blaney has just a slight edge over Bell. Which is funny because, in fact, Bell has a win. Blaney doesn't. Tyler Reddick. His best shot, I feel like, would likely be the Charlotte Roval. Because Tyler Reddick, apparently, can, he can only win on road courses. He's come close to winning some, on some ovals. But the only times he can, was successful at winning were Road America and the Indy Road Course. So, yeah. And then Daniel Suarez, I feel like he will be able to make it past the round of 12. Sorry, round of 16 pretty good because he can actually because he's actually not bad at those tracks actually he's pretty solid but the round of 12 tracks will probably be difficult for him and um, um, I don't think he's that good at Texas Talladega it's Talladega I have no idea what to expect there and the shot over might want just like time right it'll likely be his best chance to make it to the round of eight so yeah that's my prediction of the land of eight. Now let's move on to the championship four. Bono. The championship four, I predict, will be Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick, Joey Logano, and Denny Hamlin. So the four guys I have missing it are Kyle Larson, Ross Chastain, Kyle Busch, and Ryan Blaney. Now I'm going to focus on one guy. Ryan Blaney, he... I feel like unless he wins in the round of eight, this is how as far he's going to make it. He's never made it past the round of eight. With the ex Lily, with the exception of 2018 and 2020, he's made it to the round of eight. And then that's as far he's, he's made it in his entire career. So unless he can win in the round of eight, which I kind of don't. You know, I don't think he's that good at Las Vegas, Martinsville. Oh, and Homestead. I don't think I don't think he's that good at those tracks. So, yeah, Kyle Busch. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. I do not know why, but for some reason, he's just like I really want to know what the heck happened to him. Just a few years ago, he won the championship. Now he has just four wins in the last last almost three seasons. What the fuck happened to him? And then Kyle Lawson. I know he's been consistent. Matter of fact, I think under the normal points format, he's like second in points. But I do not trust him this year. Yeah, he's been off all year. He had, he's had a lot of engine failures, a lot of crashes. He's been running, he's been a lot less consistent. He's been running a lot worse. So, I am really worried for Larson, and I do not think he will make it to the championship for it. Now, Ross Chastain, there's really only one reason why I don't think he's making it. It's because Denny Hamlin. I'm calling it. Denny Hamlin is going to do something stupid that's going to cost Ross Chastain a championship four spot. I'm calling it. I, I'm literally thinking that's what's going to happen. But... Denny Hamlin is going to ruin Ross Chastain's championship hopes. Now, Denny Hamlin, when, and him and Ross Chastain have been having a rivalry since Gateway. And I want to give my quick thoughts on that. I think the rivalry was pretty dumb. Mainly because Gateway, he just, dis like, Denny Hamlin did not drive like a veteran at Gateway. When 
how he handled that. What well, was an accident? That toy was. It was an accident. Dan Ross Chastain didn't mean to do it. He decided to, even though if he just kept his foot in it, kept it, just kept on driving like a normal person, he could potentially gotten his laps back. Instead, he decides to race like someone on a NASCAR heat lobby and shot and ruined both his chances of getting back on the lead lap and Ross Chastain's chances of winning the race. That was, and I'm going to say it again, it was probably the most unprofessional thing I've ever seen from a quote-unquote veteran. Like, the fact that he took it that far to the point where apparently at one point in the race they almost got both him and Ross Chastain parked for not going at optimal speed or minimum speed, whatever the fuck it was. Like, I've seen little kids racing around with shopping carts at Walmart be more professional than how Danny Hamlin was in that gateway race. Like, since October, Denny Hamlin just struck me as a, not struck, striked me, has no longer, no longer a veteran, but instead a baby, a, a little whiny baby. Like, I just hated Denny Hamlin the last few, for a while now, now, but that, that gateway race officially solidified it for me, honestly. If it wasn't already solidified with his hack comments. But that's the point. I ha I can freaking to you. Danny Hamlin is going to cost Ross Chastain a championship fourth spot. Like, I guarantee you that. So anyway, who do I have as champion? We have four guys. Chase Elliott, who has the most wins, most playoff points, and all that jazz. Kevin Harvick, who only, who has won twice, and I was actually and I was actually surprised to learn that apparently Kevin Harvick has the second best average finish, at least according to Racing Reference, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, he no longer has the second best average finish, but he's directly behind Martin Truex Jr. So Kevin Harvick has not been that bad this year. Joey Logano, who's been silent but consistent. He has two wins this year. And Eddie Hamlin, who also has two wins, wins, but he's been a lot more sporadic and and a lot more whiny than even Logano. I'm honestly shocked. So who do I have as champion? A lot of people are probably gonna say Chase Elliott. Because he's the safe pick. The safe pick was Kyle Lawson last year. He won it all. Safe pick. You got to go with the safe pick. This is 2022. Not once. Well, a few times happened. But for the most part, this year has been unpredictable. At pretty much every freaking corner. Now, you never know what the heck is going to happen at this rate. Heck, yesterday we had Cody Ware running third on the last lap. Like, 2022 has been unpredictable. So, not only in my opinion would it be kind of disappointing if the safe pick and Chase Elliott wins it, not only would that in my opinion, be kind of disappointing because it meant, oh, the pick that everyone chose and was the safe pick won it all. So, yeah. So, you know what? You know who I think the champion is? Kevin Harvick. I think Kevin Harvick, in a year where it looked like he wasn't even going to, for a little while, he looked like he wasn't even going to make the playoffs. I think Kevin Harvick will shock everyone and win the championship. It's, it's a legit possibility with how freaking chaotic this season has been. I legit think we're going to get someone who we did not think could win it all, winning it all. So, yeah. 
I think Kevin Harvick. Ick. Well, at least I predict that Kevin Harvick will be your 2022 NASCAR Cup Series champion. It will be a second career championship. And I actually created the official standings, how everything will finish out. And here they are. Yeah, Kevin Harvick will win the championship. Chase Elliott, he'll come up just short. It, Denny Hamlin, Lane, and Joey Logano. Logano will probably be the best for the most part, but I think he'll eventually falter. Guys. And the previous Phoenix race, the Spring Phoenix race this year, he was arguably one of the better cars until he faltered towards the end. Ross Chastain finished fifth. Kyle Larson sixth. Sixth. Bush. Blaney. Reddick. Suarez. Bell. Bowman. Wisco. Sindrick. Dillon and Byron. Yeah. Believe it or not, I think Austin Dillon is going to somehow outplace Byron. He'll find a way. I guarantee you. So, yeah. Those are my 2022... NASCAR Cup Series Playoff Predictions. I hate that. Keeps on doing that. So, what do you think of this? Do you think I'm completely insane? Do you think I might be... I might actually know what I'm talking about? Because I'm not sure. I could be very wrong. It's someone like freaking... Bell. Bell could freaking win this championship ship and shock literally everyone. Chase Elliott cannot make the championship four. Who knows? Hamlin could be our first round. I hope so, honestly. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry there's not been that many uploads lately because school actually started up up again about a week. about Yeah, about a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago. So sorry about the lack of uploads the last couple weeks. It's just been really busy. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.